friends. This might be my last official video in the old place before moving to the new place. So something fun I thought we'd do, we're gonna try some of these mochi things that I got off Amazon. And I'll include in the description below which vendors I bought these from on Amazon. Since a lot of people kind of can sell the same thing, it just might be different quality and they use the same pictures. So if it's any good, I want to make sure you know it's good. And if it's not the best, I want you to know that too, um, just in case you wanted to try a different vendor for one of these goodies. So yes, um, let's start out with the bag. So this one is Bubble Milk Tea Mochi. Oh yeah, what's the ounces? Let's see. 240 grams, 8.4 ounces, just so you can kind of know a size. Let's look back here so you guys can kind of see what ingredients they have. Um, it does produce in a factory where peanuts, gluten, and sesame seed, and soybeans, and mango, and nuts are handled. Make sure to chew carefully. Keep away from sunlight, high temperature, and humidity, and consume as soon as after opening. So yes, my next few meals here at the old place might be mochi. Yay! All right, so let's get this open. And I do have my scissors handy. Do, 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 do. I want to say these might be individually wrapped in this one. I'm working with one hand because, ooh, um, nice. My usual stand is at the new place. I moved everything. So, all right, these are individually wrapped. Let's open her up and see. They're little guys. Ooh, it's soft. It almost reminds me of like the Play-Doh my grandma used to make for us growing up that was just like flour, water, and salt. Um, but this is supposed to be made out of rice. So let's give it a try. Let's see what it tastes like. Ooh. It's really soft. It's got kind of a unique texture. Oh, there, yep. There's kind of a like almost an Earl Grey tea. It's kind of more of a florally tea though, kind of smell or taste, taste, smell. It's kind of like one of those tastes that you smell, which is kind of weird to describe. But the outside's really soft. The inside's really soft. It's got like a little bit of like elasticity to it, which is kind of nice. Let's pull it apart here, yeah. So yeah, these aren't too bad. I'm not mad at it. I don't know if I can eat the whole bag. Like, it's definitely a one or two thing. It's not like a whole bonanza night. Like sometimes with chocolate or Snickers, you can just eat them all. That was definitely kind of a, a one or two and done. It's very sweet on the inside. The outside doesn't have a whole lot of flavor to it, but it's got a fun texture. Um. Let's see what this does. Oh, I'm sorry if you see any of my mess over on the other side here. I'm still kind of packing and cleaning and all that fun stuff. So this one is green tea mochi. Let's see if I can get you under the light here. Ooh. Huh. Let's open this guy up. See what all that ends, yeah. Nice. Best before. Let's open this guy up. Mm -hmm. It's a tray, kind of like the other ones. Let me use my elbow and multitasking. Oh, this looks different. Interesting. Mm. My nose itches. Let's get my handy dandy scissors. Let me just see if I can just stab one. <laughs> And always be careful with scissors, friends. Don't want to hurt yourself. Probably not doing this the best way, but it's a way and it's getting done. There we go. So this is the green tea. Oh, that's softer than the last one. Ooh, ooh. They got a little, like, cupcake. Like, this is a little denser, a little heavier. And the, the outside casing isn't as, ooh, like, as rubber. It's interesting it's got a fun texture let me take a bite hmm 
Hmm. Ooh, interesting. It's almost like a powdered sugar on the outside, and it's a little sweeter, but not as sweet. I'm not sure if I like these ones, because the inside is very, very, very green tea. Like, the only sweetness that's coming from this one is from the, the gum rice on the outside, and that is very, very subtle. So it is very much like green tea. It's got like that bitter green tea kind of flavor to it. It might be good like if you're drinking like milk or something sweet, if you needed a little break. Mm, so far, I kind of like the other ones better than this one. I'll set that to the side. Okay, so that's those. I'm making a mess. I've had like powdery, powdered stuff all over. Let's try this honeydew melon one. And these all, pretty much you got to eat after opening. So <laughs> it's going to be my Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. It's going to be mochi. Um, all right. Let's see what these, and these are honeydew melon. Oh, I forgot to look on the other side. You know, very similar. It's a soybean product. That's kind of nice. I'm one of those people who can't handle dairy very well. So having a lot of soybean stuff, I'm kind of used to that. I'm going to use my own hand. There we go. Okay. Let's try these ones. These feel a little more similar to the last one's consistency. Hmm. Hmm. It's a very mild melon. Very mild. It's hard for me because the this one has a little different outside flavor. It still has a nice like pull to it. It's very soft. The whole thing is very soft. Um, the melon tastes like something. I just can't put my finger on where I've tasted this before. You know, <laughs> this is going to sound weird and bad, but it's not. It kind of reminds me of like the cucumber melon, but just like the melon side that fragrance that is melon. But then again, like I'm in the US and like we don't have a lot of melon flavored things. That's not like a juice maybe. Um, it's just a lot of fragrance like candles and perfumes and lip glosses. Um, there's not much melon candy in the US um, that I've had anyway. I'm in the Midwest, it's pretty, pretty, non-exotic here but this isn't bad um i like it better than the green tea ones but the milk tea ones i still prefer over maybe these depending on the right, right mood let me set that over here okay so then we got the strawberry one save the strawberry for last mm -hmm. mm. And these were all like seven, eight bucks a piece. I didn't get too wild. Okay, so let's see what these strawberry ones. Let's see if the strawberry ones, what do you think? Is that gonna beat out the bubble milk tea? Ooh, this is got like a squishy texture, like the middle slid when I picked it up. Huh. Let's see. Mmm. Oh, that was a different. Oh, it's got like a pocket. A filling. No wonder it felt kind of different. I'm not mad at this one either. Hmm. It's like a strawberry and cream kind of thing. There you go. Now I can get to focus. It's got some layers in there. It has kind of wrapped in there. Hmm. Once again, this, this outer later doesn't have too much flavor at all. It has maybe like a, a hint, a very, very subtle hint of something, um, sweet, but not, 
not super sweet at all. Most of the sweetness, if anything, is coming from the inside. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. So, huh. What's the stretch like on this one? Mm, still about the same. Interesting. Damn, it's sticky now. Okay. So I'd say this one is still I most prefer. It's got more of a neutral tea. It's not super sweet. It's not super bitter. This one is pretty sweet. Like sweet, sweet. This is more fragrant florally melon, I'd say. It's not super sweet. It's not super like bitter. It's kind of like a middle. And this is this is bitter. This is like straight up mochi green tea in a ball that's like soft and squishy. Um, all the textures are really good. Um, they weren't too hard. They weren't overly gushy. They were just kind of like a nice stretch, soft, billowy. Um, so not bad. I'm not mad at it. I know I got to figure out what to do with all these. <laughs> so yes, well, thank you so much again for joining me tonight on my little exotic food sampling here uh, with the mochi from Amazon. Links down below for um, the vendors that I bought these from off Amazon. And like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. Um, and we'll keep coming out with some videos here one, about once a week or so. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye.